Hi everyone, and welcome to Creative Chelsea. Today I'm excited to be sharing with you the January 2022 Sheetload of Cards template from Call Me Crafty Al. If you are new to my channel and want to see more of my videos, click on the subscribe button and then the bell for notifications. I would love to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator and help you with any of your paper crafting needs. To purchase any of the products you see today, please visit my online store. The link is in the description below. So if you are new to the Sheetload of Cards templates, Alicia from Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel, she creates these really great templates and they're fun and easy to use and you can always make any little changes that you need to. So this is the template for this month and it creates a card similar to this layout. She also gives you all of the cutting sizes and the different papers that you need in the template as well. So you can get this free template by going to her YouTube channel and the link to that is in the description below. So the cards I am going to share with you today are created using some of the new products that you can find in the mini catalog for January through June 2022. And then I'm also using some of the fun celebration products that you can get for free when you purchase $50 or more through January and February. And so you will be able to purchase any of the things that you see today beginning on January 4th. So the fun thing about her template this month is it used three different pattern papers. And I decided to just stick with two, and so I'll show you the little change that I made and how you could do something similar if maybe you just have two patterns of paper. So the designer series paper that I've used is called Daffodil Afternoon, and it is a celebration item, and you can get this for free with a $50 order. This pack is a 12 by 12 pack, and you get two of each of the six double-sided patterns. So the patterns that I've used on my cards today are this really beautiful tulip pattern, and then this fun heart pattern with little green hearts. I love how hearts usually are not green, and so it's fun to see those patterns together. So I really loved how these patterns looked together, but I didn't wanna add another busy pattern. So I wanted to just use a soft, um, that kind of that soft peach. This is called the pale papaya color. And I thought that those went well together. Let me show you a little bigger piece here. So all three of those patterns. And so I just used a regular cardstock piece instead of a third pattern. And then to just give it a little bit of interest, I did stamp on it in a splatter, uh, using a splatter stamp. So those were the three pieces that I started with. Now cutting, if you have a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock that you're going to use, then you would just use the same cutting template that she provides for your 12 by 12 pattern paper. However, I used an eight and a half by 11. So I just had to adjust a little bit, but the size of pieces are the same. And so you may have a little more left over um, than you would with a 12 by 12 because you do need to use two pieces of cardstock to cut that if you're using an eight and a half by 11. So because um, my patterns were just really busy, I wanted to also add a piece of vellum so that I could see the patterns below, but it also kind of helped my main element pop up off of my cards. And so her template does use a piece of card sock and I just made it bigger. My size is two and three fourths by four and a quarter. And so it does cover a larger um, section of that card. But again, the vellum makes it so that we can see behind it. And then I did use this stamp set. This is a new stamp set called Daffodil Daydream. And you can see here the splattering image that I used on my cardstock. And I just stamped that in the matching color of cardstock, which was the pale papaya. And then you do get some really beautiful images of tulips. I used the single flower just to kind of keep things a little more simple. 
The greetings that come in this stamp set are a little bit more springtime, and I wanted these cards to be used for other occasions rather than just Mother's Day and Easter. And so I did pull in a different stamp set. Before I show that to you, I want to show you the dies that coordinate with the Daffodil Daydream. So you do get dies that will cut out the stamped images, but the fun thing about this die set is that you do get dies that will give you um, die cuts to create tulips. So you get petals and these little trumpet parts of the flower. You get little um, kind of the detail die cuts and then you would layer all these together to create these really beautiful tulips. And I will show later this month or maybe next month, I will do a fun video showing you how to put one of these tulips together. You also get the stems and some leaves and stuff. So it's just a really fun set. And it's really fun how the stamp set coordinates with that free paper. And if you do purchase this bundle, then you can select to get this paper for free. Now going back to the greeting, I wanted to pick a different greeting like I mentioned. And so I pulled out the Happy and Heartfelt stamp set. This is another new stamp set in the mini catalog that's just coming out um, on January 4th. The fun thing about this is you get some really different greetings. So I'll just kind of read some of my favorites. So we've got Yay for Love. This one says, I have you. Um, I love this one. Heck yeah. Um, being awesome is just your thing. And then today I've used We Have to Celebrate This. I feel like that one's just really great greeting that you can use for so many different occasions. So then going back to my card, I just want to share with you how I colored in this beautiful tulip really quickly. I did stamp it in memento black ink and then used my blend markers to color it in. And I coordinated my colors with my uh, designer series paper. And so I'm using the light old olive and the light mossy meadow for a little bit of shadow on those leaves. And I did stamp all my images and my card base in very vanilla, which also coordinates with that paper. So you can see that it's got a really soft, warm tone to it. So for the flower, I just used my light and dark pale papaya. And then I love that little pink ring that's in the designer series paper and I wanted to mimic it. And so I did use my dark flirty flamingo for that. And you could use the dark or the light of that color, just depending on um, what you want that flower to end up looking like. So that's really a fun thing. And then the last thing that I used on my cards are these really fun brushed brass butterflies. I just love these. They come in two sizes. You get a little bit of a large and a little tiny one. And I just added two of them to my card and then complemented it with a little bit of gold trim right there. So I'll go ahead and show you how they all turned out. One thing that I love about the sheet load of cards template is that you get to see how those papers look in all different places. So you'll see as I show you that the patterns of paper move from uh, card to card. So this template does create nine cards and you can get three of each. So you can see here that the papers are all in the same spot of that one. And the same with this one. Another one of those. Those must have gotten all mixed up. And then this one's fun with having those green hearts in the background. This one I think is less busy around the flower, but I still decided to use the vellum so they all have that same feeling. And that same card again. All right. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the cards that I created for the January 2022 Sheetload of Cards template. Now I am part of the Sheetload of Cards team and I do get the templates early so that I can create some fun cards. So make sure to check out all the other team members and what they've done with the same template so that you can be inspired to create with this template as well this month. And you can see their links to their YouTube channels and blogs and Instagrams all in the description below. If you're interested in getting any more information about Stampin' Up! products or any other tutorials on card making, you can visit my blog, creativechelsea.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a creative day. Bye.